Jeff TV, hit the subscribe button, hit the like button, please share this video, support your boy, support good content at all times, all social media is in the description box, and please hit that bell icon so you can be notified when I drop that heat, the $365 million man, Canelo Alvarez, was in New York City with Rocky Field and doing some media and some promo for their fight December 15th, 2018. Madison Square Garden, New York City. Now, Canelo Alvarez is just dominating the boxing newswire because of the DAZN deal, everything that's going on with the Triple G situation, the Jamal Charlo situation, the WBC, and what they allowed him to do after, after their convention. Just It's all about Canelo Alvarez right now. But in terms of this media and promo he did with Rocky Fielding, the, the one thing that stood out is just the, the height difference. The height and the size difference. Like, it was just, I mean, it was crazy. It was absolutely crazy. You know, it it looked like, it looked like a point guard standing next to a center. <laughs> like, you know what I'm saying? Like, it was crazy. Like Canelo Alvarez is maybe five six, maybe five seven. Rocky Fielding looks every bit of six two, six three. I don't know what his exact um, height is, but I mean, it looked like a definite five six inch height advantage for Rocky Fielding. And Rocky Fielding is the one hundred sixty eight pound champion of the world. Canelo Alvarez will be challenging Rocky Fielding for that title but Rocky Fielding during this promo he looked like he he looked like he might have been about 190 to 200 pounds man he looked he looked like a damn cruiserweight you know what I'm saying he was dressed nice don't get me wrong he was dressed nice but he just looked like he looked like a cruiserweight standing next to Canelo Alvarez man so it's, it's funny because we know Canelo Alvarez is very skilled. I have not done my homework on Rocky Fielding yet, so I have to do some film study on him, put the lab coat on, and, and watch a couple fights of Rocky Fielding, see what he can do, see what he can do. But just off of sheer size alone, I'm pretty sure Rocky Fielding feels like he has a, a good shot in this fight. And I couldn't help it, but... When I seen the, the height and the size difference between the two, I remember they did an interview with uh, Buster Douglas. And Buster Douglas is the guy that defeated uh, Mike Tyson when Mike Tyson was all world. Like, he was the most dominant fighter and the most feared fighter on the planet. And I remember Buster Douglas actually doing an interview and he said he'd never seen Mike Tyson live. And during a press conference, Mike Tyson walked in, and the first thing he said was, he can't beat me, he's too small. That's exactly what Buster Douglas said. He said, Mike Tyson can't beat me, he's just too small, he's not big enough. And this was when Mike Tyson was the baddest man on the planet, could not do no wrong in the ring. And that's what Buster Douglas said. Now, of course, he went in there and took care of business and changed not only Mike Tyson's life, but um, boxing history. But I'm wondering if Rocky Fielding has those same thoughts when he seen Canelo walk into the room. Like, nah, I don't care how good Canelo Alvarez is. He too damn small. Like, I'm wondering if Rocky Fielding is saying the same thing. Now, let me get this out the way because we got some listeners that, that'll take your words and flip them. I'm not comparing Canelo Alvarez to Mike Tyson, and I'm not comparing Buster Douglas to Rocky Fielding. You understand what I'm saying? The only reason I said it is because Buster Douglas said that Mike Tyson was too small. And because of the 
height and size difference between Rocky Fielding and Canelo Alvarez. That's the reason why I made that comparison. But I think this is, without me even watching tape of Rocky Fielding, just off of the size alone, the size and the height difference, if Rocky Fielding has any type of a jab or any type of speed, he's got a shot. Unless he's chinny. If he's chinny, it might be a situation like Amir Khan where Canelo Alvarez is taking the first couple rounds to set him up and then he's going to hit him with that kill shot and he's going to be face down on the mat. But, you know, this is an issue I'm definitely going to continue to monitor. This fight is not until December 15th, so we got plenty of time. I'm going to do some, uh, do some homework on Rocky Fielding and uh, definitely drop another video in regards to this. But... I mean, this is a major, major height difference. But for the people that's familiar with Rocky Fielding, let me know in the comment section what you think of him as a fighter. And do you think he actually has a good shot against Canelo Alvarez for the 168-pound championship of the world? And Canelo Alvarez is jumping up another weight class going from 160 to 168. And, you know, I, I like guys getting acclimated to the weight before they make that major jump. But Canelo Alvarez, he's he thinks he's special and he can just jump right on in. But when Canelo Alvarez fought Julio Cesar Chavez Jr. at 164 and a half, Canelo Alvarez didn't look good. So I, I don't think this is a gimme fight. And I haven't watched Rocky Fielding yet. I don't think this is a gimme fight. Just off of stuff I've seen with Canelo Alvarez in, in the past. But y'all let me know what y'all think in the comment section. G5 Jeff TV. Hit the subscribe button. Hit the like button. Please share this video. Support your boy. Support good content at all times. I appreciate y'all. Peace.